Thank you so much, everyone. Right now, I'd like to introduce our first guest speaker tonight. Once again, you know him very well, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tex Thompson. Tex Thompson, the first guest speaker here tonight to honor Dutch. Thank you. Well, let's see, how can I start out? Uh, I guess the first part, me and Dutch kind of started off on the wrong foot one time back in the early 90s when I kind of held up a match for about 10 minutes over a flag. That didn't go well. But uh, through the time I was able to work for Sandy Barr, got to work with Mr. Savage. And as time go, go went on, I was able to do some uh, commercials for him. And I was able to put those on the shows so it was an honor and privilege to do that with you, sir. I'm just going to make this short and sweet because we got other guys here. But for me, as a legend and an icon to me, this is my appreciation of what you've done. It's not much, sir. But I just want to let you know that's what I appreciate of what you've done. folks can see this or not, but this is a calendar from 1976. Yes, uh, Jimmy Snooker and myself when we were the tag team champions of the Northwest. Yeah. No, thank you, sir. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, nice thank you for Tex Thompson and his nice work. Absolutely. And there's not really a lot I can say here tonight. There's no real words that can describe what Dutch Savage Our has yes, given to these people. Our next guest speaker to introduce to the ring right now is veteran referee Mark Watson. Not much you thank can you. say. About 40 years of service to professional wrestling, now the fans and the boys in the back. Here, but the very first professional wrestling match I watched was in 1969 at the Salem Grand Theater. And the main event was Dutch Savage and Cowboy Frankie Lane. My dad took me and my older brother. He used to work at, he was a manager at Myron Frank. He used to get some tickets from Ed Doherty, who was a promotional man there. And I watched that match in awe. And I believe it spilled out into the parking lot. And there were like, fans all over and there was the blood and everything and I remember my dad saying literally looking through my dad's legs and my dad saying come on boys let's go probably getting out of here and I remember saying to my dad it's not done yet <laughs> and ever since that moment I was hooked I was hooked on professional wrestling and Dutch and obviously Matt Bourne and a couple other people had a lot to do with me getting involved in professional wrestling, but from that moment, it's something that I will never forget in my entire life. So to you, Dutch Savage, you had an impression on me as a young, young lad all through growing up, and that's a moment I will never forget. And thank you very much for being with me. And ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce to you our next guest speaker. You guys know him very well, Mr. Chief Billy Two Eagles.
B2E in the house here tonight. You gotta love it. Uh, Talk about history. <laughs> Where is he at? Damn. Anyway, you know, you people know who I am. Uh, I've been here for quite a while. And you know, Dust Savage has been a big influence in my life. Because the first time I came to Portland, Oregon, you know, I'm from San Antonio, Texas, you know, and I made Oregon my home now. And this man right here has said to me one night, when I, when I first came to the territory, he said, Kid, you got to slow your ass down. You know? Make, this, this guy is old school, okay? The bottom line, he's old school. Absolutely. I am old school. And I hope you guys understand one thing, what this means. Because one thing is, is very perspective in this life, in this profession is, you know what the hell you're doing inside the ring. And this man, he knows what he's doing in the ring. And he taught me a lot. But I got to say one thing only, though. The Savage, you're the man, brother. Your legacy and your, le your legacy will live forever, my brother. Forever. Because you know one thing? No, no, no. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on one second, guys. Hang on one second because we're talking about legends. We're talking about icons. We're talking about this and that. But the bottom line is right now, guys, is that this man is Portland wrestling. He's, he's not only been here in Oregon, but he's been throughout the world. And he established himself to be a true professional. That's the damn truth. And let me tell you something, Dutch. I know you had many running rounds with that man called Boo Ramos. You know? You know, Boo Ramos, man, he was one of my comrades, you know? And he's a, he's a very unique character. He's a strong son of a gun. Can't say that. But let me tell you something, Dutch. But whenever you step in there, you call a match with me with Buddy Wayne one night. I remember it clearly, and you said that. That was one of the heck of a strap match I had that one night. But one thing I say, Dutch, to you, man, the thing that you guys established for us, that you're doing for these young guys around this area here tonight, is one thing only, man, that you are a true legend in this profession. And you, that's one thing that they can, they can never, ever take away from you, my brother. Because you're, you're authentic, you're unique, and you're a professional. I want to say something one time. Hang on a second. <laughs> if you want to take me on, Dutch, go right ahead, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I am hoping for a contract. Hey. I am not 75 years old, baby. I am 72. <laughs> and we can have an old man thing right now, if you want to have it right now. But one thing, I do have a present for you, though. <laughs> Dutch, one thing I want to say, one thing. From the Apache community to you, but to all this blood that you spilt with Boo Ramos, and yourself, I got a gift for you. Oh, it's not a Billy Trigo t-shirt, that's for damn sure. <laughs> it's one of your chokers right there, brother. Yeah. All the blood that was spilled, baby, let me tell you something, guys. That's the legend right there, my guys. This is what wrestling's all about. It's about this man right here. And if you want to go at it right now, let it be, baby. <laughs> and let me tell you one thing, my friend. And you keep that. And you sleep underneath the mattress with all the blood that's been spilled throughout the careers. I know. I've been throughout the world, and you've been throughout the world, and we left our piece of our ass, our butts. We live our piece of our butts throughout, throughout the countries, my brother. All the blood that's been spelt and all that stuff have been done, that brother. But me and you only know what it feels like. And we appreciate every single one of you guys that were supporting us throughout all the time, man. God Absolutely. bless you guys. Absolutely. Two true legends in the ring of PXW right now. And we're going to come back in just a second, I think. 
with another speaker. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, Chief Billy Two Eagles. We'll be back in just a minute with Governor Wilson Kane and more from PXW. Don't go anywhere.